Hi, I'm John Mickman, President of Mickman Brothers. Back in 1975, my brother Chris and I started our company as just a landscape construction company. Over the years, we also added a lawn sprinkler division and our garden center, which at first was housed in our caboose. Mickman Brothers is a local family-owned company, and our garden center is definitely a family garden center. Many, many customers are actual whole families coming with moms, dads, and kids. And for, especially for the kids, it's a really wonderful way to open up the world of gardening to them. Our do-it-yourself design department offers our customers the opportunity to have a professional designer design the landscape with the ideas from our customers. Then they can take that design home and install it themselves or to have one of our talented landscape installation crews install it for them. At Mickman Brothers, we take great pride in offering some of the best horticultural classes available in Twin Cities. We've teamed up with an Okahennepin Continuing Education Department and the Minnesota Horticulture Society to offer some really broad spectrum horticultural classes to help you become successful in your lawn and landscape. For over 30 years, our lawn sprinkler department has been installing some of the finest landscape irrigation systems in the state of Minnesota. And just recently, we were selected by the Minnesota Twins to install a brand new system at the Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Go Twins! Mickman Brothers Family Garden Center prides itself in providing the finest products and services available in the industry. This includes garden-savvy employees that can help guide you through your gardening experience, be it picking the right tree or creating the perfect container garden. We're now back in the Mickman's greenhouse where they create 1,500 different baskets that people can purchase and the woman responsible for that is Leanne who's here and she's the annual grower and Leanne these are fabulous pots I want you to know they're beautiful and I want you to tell the folks what's your secret when we do our baskets we add enough fertilizer in there to last them for four months so actually all they have to do is uh, water do you have like some that are vines and some that are tall I mean is there a system to put a pot together. Yeah, when you're, when you're doing your hanging baskets, you always want the height to be right in the center of the pot, and then you'll work your way out and just make it a little shorter, the next flower next, and then the next one comes down more vining, and then the final edge ones are totally vining and will drop down two, three feet. In addition to doing these sorts of pots with flowers, you also have edible containers, and we should take a look at those to give people ideas. All right, All right now we've got a salsa pot. Tell me a little bit about it, Leanne. Well, your salsa pot is going to contain tomatoes, mm -hmm. and it's going to have peppers, chives, parsley, cilantro, and a few table onions to give it some spice. And tell me a little bit about, you can do cucumbers and other things as well? Absolutely. You can do cucumber pots, baskets, you can do strawberry baskets, hang them right outside your front door, pick them every day. No animals will get them. Okay, so from there, we've got the edible plants and we've got the potted plants. You're going to give us a one-on-one of how you make these awesome plants. All right. My, my soil usually consists of fertilizer, which most people can use osmocote, and you can buy it at every store. But okay. If you want, you can always add soil moist, which keeps it more wet during the summertime so you don't have to water as often. Okay. Otherwise, just add some extra peat into your soil. Great. Okay, now when you start, you start, as I recall, with the coleus, right? Yes. Coleus okay. is the tallest of all the mm -hmm. plants that I'm going to use in my baskets. Um, it'll get about 18 inches tall. So you just need to loosen up your roots and then just put it right into the center. And then next, of course, you were talking about that you want to do the daisy because yes. it's, is that because of the height Daisies and that sort are, of thing? Daisies are the second in height wise for, for the tallest. So I will just go in threes. Okay. and I'm just going to do a try all the way around my pot with every plant that right. I stick in. Okay, and then now we have a vine, right? Yes, this is okay. a sweet potato vine. Okay. And these I'm just going to stick around the edge of my pot. Uh-huh. All right, and now you wanted to go with the blue? Yes, I'm going to do a true blue flower. Okay, these very are hard, beautiful. Very hard to come by, but yes. this is an amesia. They actually smell really beautiful. I don't know if they're smelling today. No, they, they do. They and are just the most believe. perfumed flower. They are so beautiful. This is a dahlia. These are a mid -da midi dahlia, so they don't get very tall, so they need to go more onto the edge okay. of the side or Again, edge of your match. basket. They and always are. your trick is you do not want to see dirt in your pot when you're done planting. Oh, all if right. you've that's... done that, you so, know you've got a full pot. Oh, perfect. Okay, so that's a good clue, too. It's... Now we're going to do some petunias, okay. and these petunias are really a blue, really a midnight blue, yes. but Which it'll we're... pull out the eyes on your daisies. Yes. Very cool. And then our finally, mini famous. Mini famous Callies. And we're done. All we need is a little water and she's set. She's done. Okay, so that took you three minutes. And what's your final tip to tell people who are potting pots? Well, just do a little 
tender love and care in the beginning to let them get established in there, make sure they're watered in really well when you first do them. Um, make sure they do get fertilizer. You can always deadhead. I know it's a pain to do that, but deadheading your petunias all the way and things like that, that those are the little tricks to keep it going until October. And then, of course, enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, Leanne. Thank you. At Mickman Brothers, we're all about landscape and gardening, and we do it well. We hope you choose our family business for your landscaping project this summer. Mickman Brothers, Landscapes for Living. <laughs>